Okay, so know how people say mushroom is flavorless. Well, what if someone says this tastes like a mushroom flavor? Mushroom is a flavor. Don't worry, we'll get more of this, and it's not gonna be fun. So we're getting our favorite sandwich for the last time this decade. We like these Italian Star Deli sandwiches. They are so meaty and good. Happy New Year, dear, too. Happy New Year. It's like Tim Hortons, come on. 22, 25, my friend. Whenever you're ready. That card works. You can go buy yourself a new Xbox or that. That'd be nice. We already have one. What? Give me one, too. Xbox on this. Really? Like a, like a white one? Yeah. All cool. digital, too. Really? Nope. Yep. This is free gaming. Cool. <laughs> Happy New Year! <laughs> this has been a phenomenal year. Yeah, like... It's been awesome. My... Okay, we started the year off by doing the Lego episode, if you remember that. Yeah, I don't. And it was a solo episode. The next episode was actually another solo episode that Tom interviewed Mike McGuire. Oh yeah, I remember why. Because you were on the Switch. You were like, I cannot stop. I Talking cannot about stop. consoles. Gonna go off topic for a little bit. We're gonna do another episode next time. Next year, next ticket actually. Yeah. About one of our Christmas presents. And I'm just okay. saying January, Mary, it's kind of weird because Christmas was in the last month, actually last year. So, so I must say these sandwiches are glorious. Yes, but let's tell you some deadly sandwiches. And if you see us eating them, because it's so good, that's why. Oh yeah, in your shop. And we did two episodes there, Wash for Union and The Bull Ride. Both really phenomenal episodes. Turned out was really good. Um, Tom, we almost got you on a bull. I'm so, 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 I mean, I'm so set tempted next year to get you on a bull. What? Fireworks? No. We nearly cracked our pants. <laughs> Now let's cut to the Calgary. Get what the episode was do. Yes. We're at the Calgary Zoo. And we're about to go see animals. Especially <laughs> pandas. Sean Spears. 
And in the in the like picture that it displays, you and Sean Spears are going like, and I'm just off to the side going like. This was cool, guys. A lot of fun. Great job. Great work. Thanks Appreciate for it. Thank you. My pleasure, guys. You better cheer for me tonight. I'm, I'm will. looking at you. I will. I'm looking at you. I will. I will. I know I, you're on my I'm team. telling you, I See? will. You do what your brother's doing. It was a pretty good episode. It was really good. Uh, this was fun. This was cool. Uh, if you guys don't know, these guys traveled, what, not, how long? Seven hours. Seven hours. I mean, we hyped it up so much. It was kind of crazy. Okay. In November, we did an interview with Jay and Dan. Thanks for having the, the right days of our show yeah. being on. That's yeah. awesome. You got all the details right. I guess we're done. Yeah. Is that it? It was really awesome. They were bosses. They were, no. they were really awesome. But I'm just depressed. You're not eating your sandwich. You're wasting good food. I'm not going to eat it. I'm saving it. You guys know him. This person who shoots really good. His name's Kurt Kirschmeier. He shoots really good. He doesn't shoot really good. And Arthur Slade, mm -hmm. he both writers, and he just published, he just signed a contract for a new book. Arthur Slade. You see, I was born in Moose Jaw, raised in Southwest Saskatchewan on a ranch, came up here for university, started writing books, and I had to write seven books before my first one was published. It took me a long time to figure it out how to write books properly. And then ever since then, every book I've, I've written has been published, so I feel very lucky. And I was born here in Saskatoon. I moved away, lived in a couple small towns in the province, and then moved back here. Started writing when I was in my 20s, and just had my first book published two months ago. John Ryan won't even interview us. We met his wife. Dude, like Sarah Colada. Yes, we're asking you, please. I already scored points. I knew that was gonna work, go over well with you guys. Two, you gave us an awesome interview. And two times, both of them were live. The second time, we kind of knew it was gonna happen. The first time, we were like, okay, where do you wanna do this? And they say, right? Here. I'm like, sure, let's do this. Just follow me down this weird little rabbit hole. And so, Todd, please, please come come book shopping with us. I'll buy you some. Your favorite, oh, yeah. your favorite artist, like writer. My favorite writer isn't a writer. Its name is Aaron Hunter. I said its name. It's a combination of a bunch of writers and they write this a bunch of series. You didn't explain what it's named. Warriors! Oh, yeah. And my my favorite um, art like writer is, has to be David Williams. He, some people actually call him the second coming, but I think, second I don't know, the successor of um, Raul Dahl. So he's a really good artist, uh, I mean writer. Why do I keep on saying artist? He's the writer of these two, um, I've written, he's, I've read only two of his books, but he's really good. Um, the first one, Gangster Granny, and I'm halfway into Bad Dad. Both of them, really good books. Okay, so basically that's it. And just thank you for watching our YouTube channel, if you have watched it for a year or so. Thank you so much. Or four years, I think we this we're entering your Third year, third year. So if you watch it for two years, probably you. And well, basically that wraps it up. Like wraps it up. Like and wraps it up. Like I just want to say one thing. Happy New Year, Sunny. If you're watching, thank you. Happy New Year. <laughs>